Hello and welcome to another Ginger Math Petition video and today we're going to be predicting the IGCSE International Math so this is 0607 and a fair few requests for this video and again just like last year we look at those last 17 papers to make sure that these predictions are completely up to date with the exams on the 1st coming around very very soon and the 8th of October for paper 4. Right let's start with paper 2 here and we have indices slightly up here at 82% this should be no surprise to you whatsoever. Remember these kind of questions are usually one or two mark questions. So remember if you've got a fraction as an index it's going to be a root, in this case the cube root of 64 and that will be equal to 4. So make sure you know that topic very very well. On to logs. Again no change at 65%. Generally does come up on paper 2 but can appear on paper 4 as well. Here are some very up-to-date questions. You do need to be able to work with bases so you need to know what a base essentially is but this is more typical here the three marker where you have to simplify a logarithmic expression. On two thirds, again, 71%, no change. Perhaps this will be bigger in 2025 with the non-calculated paper. This is a very, 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 very typical question, rationalizing the denominator. Remember, with this kind of denominator, we need to multiply by its conjugate. So we multiply by root five plus one top and bottom to get our rationalization. Only two marks here, but it can be three or even four marks for this kind of question. On to number skills, again, no change at 82%, again, almost certain category, usually one of the very first questions to appear. This is very typical, so you have a list of numbers, you need to work out what the prime numbers are, or the square numbers are, or some other feature. Probability, slightly down at 88%, but a very big topic, and very big on paper four as well. This is a typical question here, so again, working out the uh, Wendy rolls a prime number at least twice, knowing these words like at least, at most, that's really important for probability problems. If you have issues with these kinds of questions, check out the video above. And you can see the frequencies here of the topics I've really focused on. The almost certain some of the often topics. Again, statistics is also something to consider here as well. Again, that's usually something like a stem and leaf diagram or some kind of basic table manipulation. However, on to paper four. Again, this is the last part of the paper two. The paper four is, of course, the big paper, the one that really makes the difference in terms of the marks. And the first thing here is volume and surface area of 3D shapes and slightly up at 100%, so sneaks into the certain category. Again, this is usually one big, long question with lots of different parts involved. You can see here, for example, the starter question two here, where you have to work various volumes and surface areas together. Make sure you revise. On to quadratics, now slightly down here at 59%, but like I said in my 0580 video, it can be quite sneaky, it can appear in different places. Here, we have to generate our quadratics, we have to generate this here from the information given in the question. Functions, again at 112%, now this can vary in terms of functions. This question here, for example, we're actually using functions with GDC skills, which I'll talk about later in the video as well. But you could also get something where they want you to work out f of f of x, for example, or the inverse function. These kind of things are also very typical. So functions sneak into quite a lot of questions, just like quadratics. Sine and cosine rule, slightly down here at 82%, often combined with bearings. Again, I get a great video on this. Check it out above. And this is very typical here as well. Notice bearings sneaking into the question, but also using all that knowledge about the sine cosine rule and the air of a triangle. Transformations up, it certainly appeared much more on the very, very recent papers. Again, this is a very clear example here. We have to identify the transformation, again, using those words like translation here. So this is a translation in this case, but things like rotation, enlargement, and stretches. But please don't forget about stretches, often gets forgotten about on the 0607 course. Statistics, huge here at 153%, and this is no surprise. It can feature a lot of different style of questions. Estimate of mean has always been quite popular. Remember, you need your calculator for this. This is why it's only two marks here. But they could ask you a cumulative frequency question. That's very, very common too. Probability, I told you, it'll be back. And guess what? It is back. Can be one of the harder questions, actually. So this one here is question 12. Again, being very, very careful how you work with this. Again, they can also integrate the algebraic fractions at the hard end. This is something that doesn't get practiced too much. Again, I go through this in one of my courses on Udemy. Again, you can check that out. 
And percentage calculations, again, this is a big question that always appears. They do try and vary it. They've noticed students are getting quite good at these kind of questions. So they're trying to really change the language here. Again, are we looking for the total amount, just the interest? Are we got a simple interest, compound interest? And sometimes they do some graphing with it as well. So they are making these questions harder. So you need to revise even harder as well. GTC skills, I told you I'd mention this and here it is certain, of course, usually appears once, very occasionally twice as well. This is very typical. So we put this into our GDC, our calculator, and then we can work out various features of this. The A star element of this is usually some kind of inequality. So work out the region in which uh, F of X is less than G of X, something along those lines. OK, so you can see all the different features here. Algebraic fractions sneaking in now at 82%, something to be aware of. Again, most of these topics I've covered in this particular video. And you've got the extra section here as well. Again, these big three in the middle. But don't forget things like circle theorems. We haven't talked about it in this video, but it's probably going to come up on one of the papers. And if you need a real review of all things 0607, I've got exactly the thing for you. There's a video right in front of you. Go through the top, top 10 topics on the 0607 course to make sure you're up to scratch. It gets two hours. It's a long video. Again, pause it, play it. But it's really important to get a good overview of the course.